On average, people in Lima use more water per capita than many other places in the world. Water has always been a very precious resource, and this goes back thousands of years. It's now in crisis, and climate change will make that crisis even more severe. Lima was a garden city, uh, and it was irrigated by an extensive uh, system of canals. Um, and built out over hundreds of years, really, um, by indigenous people. The Spanish didn't understand the scale of the hydraulic space that had been built. They focused exclusively on the immediate environment of the Rimac. The first transformation is that the Spanish introduced large animals, horses, cattle, and not only did those animals damage the canal system that existed, uh, they built, the Spanish built slaughterhouses and tanneries uh, that polluted the Rimac. The second transformation, uh, I, I would call it a socio-economic transformation because, because the water was no longer uh, fit to drink in the Rimac, uh, the Spanish started to draw clean drinking water from wells and protected lakes from uh, uh, above the city center. And they guarded those uh, resources and they established a new distribution system which were um, essentially sold. So it was no longer a common good. It was a, you know, a commodity that was, uh, you had to pay for. These two transformations probably established uh, some of the fun fundamental problems that the city is still de dealing with. Since that colonial period, the wealthy and the powerful in Lima have had uh, more than their fair share, a kind of privileged access to water. Um, and, and to this day, many poor people in Lima don't have any running water. Uh, and have to buy it from distribution trucks or carry it to their houses in buckets uh, where they put it in cisterns that they use later. Uh, and uh, kind of ironically, these people pay more per gallon for water than people in the wealthy neighborhoods. There has been, a, you know, a, a, a sense of urgency uh, as ideas uh, have surfaced about climate change and global warming and, you know, just environmental awareness in general. I think people in Lima, you know, in general have a kind of sense of urgency about this water crisis and are coming to terms with it. Uh, and the government developed a master plan about a decade ago um, that they're slowly implementing. And this master plan includes some pretty aggressive moves to try to address many of the issues. Personally, I think Lima has been slow to get on this, uh, and I hope it's, it's changing now.